No, we're not going to use these anymore. Uh, upgraded boys. Hello guys, what is up? I am Liabnup121 and welcome to my next update video for the month of March. I will admit, it has been a chaotic 2022 to start, not only in terms of YouTube stuff, but also my personal life. And today, with a, with a brand new quarter coming in around the corner, I thought it would be appropriate for me to address some of the things that happened over the three months, not only in terms of gaming, but also what has happened with my life, and explain a few things as well along the way. Anyways, if you're new to this channel and you just stumble across this update video, hi, I'm Joel. I'm Liam Point One. I play video games for a hobby. I actually have a proper job running on uh, in my life, but I usually just play games on my on the downtime and record my experiences with them with you guys. 2022 has started out very chaotic for me, and not only in terms of a lot of let's plays that I've been doing and also trying to balance off Twitch, but I'll get to Twitch in a moment. The real thing that happened was actually just this month in March. I have been struggling with a few chest problems, heart palpitations, and actually increased heart rate over the past three weeks. Now, I know that sounds, does sound for concern, but I can guarantee you after going to the cardiologist last Friday that I'm actually all fine. Apparently, I'm experiencing what they call a COVID-19 after effect, where the body is still not properly realizing that as well or something like that, and it's causing me to have some complications like this. As far as my blood, my heart, and my, um, yeah, blood and my heart goes, I am completely fine, like 100% healthy. So not really much cause, much cause concern, so thank God. The next thing I want to point out is Twitch. Um, I will admit, as much as I wanted to give you guys a proper schedule for, well, um, on Twitch, I've been struggling to keep up. I will admit that um, work in school has been very, very hectic and a lot to take in to the point where I really didn't have enough time or I just didn't feel like streaming um, on the weekdays. Of course, you guys know I've been streaming on Saturdays, but I'll get to that in, uh, once I reveal my Let's Plays. So yeah, because of that, I decided that I'll just stream on Twitch whenever I can. And with that, I'll say this. For those who have known that I've done the Super Mario Brothers Dream Mix playthrough, um, I will have a day that I will record the finale to that playthrough. Well, that means the last two, three worlds technically, of uh, Super Mario Brothers 3 Mix. So stay tuned for that announcement, either on my Twitter or, or my Twitch. However, when it came to YouTube, I'm honestly very happy that I got through all of my playthroughs that I wanted to, to do for, the, for this first quarter. And there were times that I was struggling to actually record especially when it came to the Warrior Land 3 playthrough, as some of you already knew. But I hope that in the month of April and June, because I've cut down a certain Let's Plays that I'm blind that I wanted to do, that I'll be able to find the time to record and it won't be too much of a hassle. With that said, um, I will say this right now, I actually have a way more Let's Plays that I'm doing in the second quarter of 2022 than the first quarter, which is kind of crazy, but the good news is that I picked games that are like, minuscule and not that like intense so that i will have enough ample time to focus on not only on my work but also playing on what i want to do in the future also i will miss something i was about to say that multiplayer mondays was going to take a hiatus but because of a sudden tweak in a certain thing i want to do in terms of uploads i've managed to um get uploads ready up to, I think, the end of May, actually. So stay tuned for what is to come, because I have a lot of stuff, including a lost episode of of um, Jackbox that I thought I would never be able to upload. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, overall, TLDR, I'm feeling fine. Twitch is going to take a slight uh, like beat down, but YouTube is going to be way stronger than it used to be, especially with the upcoming Let's Plays. So... Without further ado, it's time for me to read to you guys my new, new Let's Plays. Starting out with this. To kick things off, it's time I show you once again a part of my childhood. A uh, part of that weird childhood that I had as a kid. This childhood, however, is one that's intriguing, that's fun, that's challenging, that's puzzling. A game that I grew up once again at the age of 4, but I grew to love a lot as the years went by, even to this day. A series that, 
grew very popular during the NES region, region, the NES era, but never really saw much of the light of day in the early 2000s. Because honestly, there was just too many other puzzle games to enjoy. But this one was a gem, and I'm going to release that gem out to the world. Let's play Clax 4D Game Boy begins on the 5th of April. It wasn't Bejeweled, it wasn't any of those puzzle games you see on those advertisements. It was this game, Clax for the Game Boy, that really started my love for puzzle games. And I thought, to start off April, what is it about time I show you guys this game. A game that I really loved at the age of 4, and what really kicked off my training when it comes to puzzle games, and even when it comes to time management, as you see from here. The concept was simple, clear waves by clearing objectives by matching tiles of the same patterns in groups of three or more in various uh, orientations. It was that joy of just like getting the tiles quickly, clearing tiles, clearing waves that really just stood out to me as a kid. And now it'll be about time for me to show you guys why I love this game so much just at the age of four. This game, this let's play will cover all 100 waves and even a secret warp that allow you to skip a ton of waves in this game. There's only been one video of this game, Clax Japan for the Game Boy, that I've seen on YouTube, and that was a task speed run lasting 3.5 minutes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to beat that second video that's showcasing this game, starting on the 5th of April with daily uploads on Tuesday and Thursday at 8.30am Eastern Standard Time. Hope you guys will enjoy this one, and did I mention there is a giveaway attached to this Let's Play, so stay tuned for that first video where I give you guys a brand new experience for what's to come in the future. Speaking of that previous childhood, this next Let's Play that I'll be doing is something similar to that childhood. But instead of a dark story and uh, me going just going up and down and all around, this next Let's Play is going to be a whimsical one based on a family that almost tore apart because they had to blend in with civilization. They could not use their superpowers until the itch came back to one particular member. And all of a sudden, chaos ensued, whether it be in the family or whether it be out there. Get ready for a brand new Let's Play that could make me a world record speedrunner. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the Incredibles for the Game Boy Advance begins on the 10th of May. A game that I played a lot as a kid and actually can confirm that while I was timing myself to try and speedrun this game, I actually have beaten the world records uh, uh, run on this game. And now, it's finally time to show you guys why. This Let's Play will cover all stages and a few cheat codes in between in, as I showcase a game that surprisingly very fast it. And believe it or not, Mr. Incredible is not the only one you can play in this game. Play as Mrs. Incredible and stretch around on the platforms. Play as Violet and use your force fields to knock back enemies and even turn invisible. Play as Dash and run across water and uh, to run away from enemies. Oh, and did I mention that Frozone is available in this game? Where is my super suit? Okay, sorry, I had to get that out of the way. The reason why I said about World Record Speedrun, I actually have uh, planning to speedrun this game live on Twitch. Oh, and with this Let's Ray, get ready for some faithful recreations of your favorite moments from the movie. And trust me, there are quite a few that are showcased in game itself. As this playthrough will go come right after the Clax Let's Play, the Incredible Le Incredibles Let's Play will start on the 10th of May, with uploads coming once again on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope you guys are excited for this one. Next up on the roster is my Flash Fridays Let's Play. The Burger Shop Let's Play was a huge success in my opinion. I really enjoyed being going frank tank trying to make food for people. But now it's time for me to use my skills in a totally different place. Where the play where everywhere is dry, where the balls are colorful, and it's just me frantically make me building a pyramid for some reason. This might not sound familiar. But the series itself should ring a bell to many who have loved the series for quite some time. Oh boy, I've been waiting for this one. 
Let's play Luxor 3 for the PC begins on the 2nd April of this year, 8th of April. No, I'm not, not lonely on April Fools. Don't think about it. With Luxor 1, Luxor 2, and Amon, Luxor Amon Rising not available to be played at this point of time, I had to set my sights to the third installment in the Luxor series, Luxor 3. And honestly, I don't mind it too much. Luxor 3 was a game I played a lot of as a child, whether it be online or through one hour demo trial versions through, well, you know, your shockwave.com, your bigfishgames.com, etc. But I never got the chance to play the entire game at all because I never had the means to or, well, ahem, money. However, now with Steam uh, allowing me to play these games, I can finally, finally get this game off the ground for you guys to enjoy. This Let's Play, while semi-blind, will cover every single aspect, whether it be its story mode, the puzzle mode, or survival mode at that. I hope to showcase all I remember from the Lux series and what made this series, in my opinion, a huge success during its time. Luxor 3 being a Flash Friday uh, Let's Play will, of course, be duh. We have episodes uploaded every Friday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Do know that this will uh, might go on even beyond June, so expect a lot of episodes to come in the future. And now for the final announcement of this trailer. As much as I mentioned that I have been struggling to find time to stream on Twitch, you know, I'll probably have to find the time to stream the finale of the Super Mario Bros. Dream Mix playthrough and record and all, all the episodes and upload them to YouTube on the Wednesdays. Hint, hint. There is a game that I actually have been Let's Playing on Twitch on the Saturdays slash Fridays, whatever time zone you're in. And it's a Pokemon game. And no, it's not Pokemon Insurgents, for those wondering. Instead, it is a Pokemon game that was recommended to me by a good friend of mine. It's also a game that I'm pretty sure will make a certain Gen 6 Pokemon very popular. I've been wanting to let's play this game for quite some time, but honestly, I've been ne never honestly found the time to start the let's play itself. I've been struggling, I'll admit. Work has been very hectic, as I mentioned before. But thanks to a group of friends of mine, we have managed to make something work. And now I can say that I've been playing this game for quite a while. And now I can also say that this project not only is a great one, but it's also going to be the biggest project not only on YouTube, but also on Twitch. Get ready for a brand new adventure. Let's play Pokemon Unbound! has begun and has been streaming all on Fahrenheit's channel, no, not my channel, on the Fridays, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Fahrenheit's cha Twitch channel will be in the description below if you want to see all of the episodes to this four-player co-op, semi-blind, a Pokemon Unbound. I will be pairing up with three of my best friends on the Lunar Heights Arcade, Fahrenheit's, the main leader of this project, Longsword25, and Solid Plasma. This will be a semi-blind play let's play with three of us going in blind with different difficulties and Longsword 25 going in deep with going trying to finish this game with the hardest difficulty. Ladies and gentlemen, there's something for everyone in this let's play and I hope you guys will enjoy this one. And I will also be uploading uh, videos from my let's play over on my channel on the Saturdays and Sundays on 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. All Vault uploads will start on the 9th of April and will continue every Saturday and Sunday. Oh, and heads up, this will not be the this will not be the quality. Instead, I'll be stretching these videos up to 920p, 1080p for your guys' enjoyment. Get ready, because this is probably not going to be one of the biggest things I've done on uh, on YouTube and Twitch. And that is it for this trailer video. As a TLDR, here is the banner that will be uploaded on the month of April, and this is what will happen every single week in the month of April and beyond until I have to upload a new uh, update video. You might notice that the Pokemon Unbound like schedule slot is not actually on this banner. That's because honestly, the uploads on Saturday Sunday were kind of a last minute thing that I've decided on. Nonetheless, it's going to be a jam-packed April all the way to June possibly, as I plan to showcase a ton of Let's Plays for you guys while I'm still working to, well, bring back the bacon. With that, that's it for this update. Do you know that uh, Bejewel Podcast might still come out every uh, Sunday Saturdays on 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
do pay attention to my Twitter on updates on when I will be streaming the BGO podcast. With that, thank you guys so much for watching. But remember, the adrenaline rush is real. This is Lee Abner 421 signing out, and I'll catch you guys on my next video or even my next stream. Peace.